Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about the connect module. This is the module brings you brings more flexibility for you in order to handle HTTP request and response. These are the two major features that connect can bring to your application. First, it lets you to have list of functions that will be executed after any request comes to the server. So it means you have the stack of functions that can be managed by connect. For example, you want to have two functions to be executed once a new, requ new request comes in. First, to validate the request and second, check website load and traffic in order to reject the request or handle as it's supposed to be handled. So if you want to have multiple functions for one request, you need to use connect. What's the other feature that it brings to us? The other feature is that it lets you to have multiple, uh, lets you to have different functions for different paths and routes. For example, you have these two URLs. Let me write it, type it for you. For example, mywebsite.com, oops, slash plugin, and you have www.my website.com slash user profile so here you have two different paths login and user profile both have the same domain but different path so what you want to do is that to run different function when the request comes for login and run different function when the request comes for user profile for this feature also you can use connect so let's uh, start coding. Before you uh, start code, you need to install the connect package because connect is not a built-in package. So you need to install it. If you are using WebStorm like me, you can just press Alt and F12 to go to the terminal. If you are not using, you can just open any command prompt in your machine, move to the project directory and run what I'm writing here. NPM, node package manager, install connect here we are so we need to wait until the package is installed that's it okay so we have this installed package in our project now we need to start coding okay first we need the object from the connect module require the name of module is connect that's it also we need HTTP because we want to handle uh, we want to handle the HTTP request here HTTP that's it. also I need to create another object I will call it app from this connect that's it. okay now I need to create a server HTTP that create server uh, listen to port 80. I like this port. I don't know why. I just like it. Okay. So let's make some space here. Okay. So we already create the server, but this server is not is not running any function when the request comes in. So we don't want to run any specific function. We just want to redirect our request to this object, which is app. Now let's to have two functions because I want to explain about the first feature which is having multiple functions for one request. Let me create one function, a very simple function. Function, for example, we call it first function. Okay. What are the parameters? The first is request, second is response, and the other one is next. I will explain about the next if you give me a few minutes. Okay let's write something in the log window for example this is the first function here we are okay I'll copy this one create a second function I just change the name oops second and this is the second okay how we can ask this app to run this function for us? It's very simple. 
question just we need to copy app that use and name of function okay so I just copy this here we are and then just copy this copy and paste is my best friend in programming okay so first function and second function let's run the server see what's happening okay I think everything is okay okay let me just put something in the console log uh, server is up and running okay let's see yeah server is up and running let me put my browser okay localhost let's see what did happen here we go to the okay as you can see here this is the first function but wait for a minute I have two functions here why only one is executed and what did happen to the second one okay that's the that's the matter so what's happening here is that the request goes to the app app this is a stack okay this is the first in the stack this is the second so always the first one will be executed then it goes for the second one if you ask the the first function to send the request to the second one so how we can ask as you can see here there is a next parameter here you just not need to do this so it means after this request is finished and that after this function is be executed we send the request to the next next is the next in the stack next in the stack is the second function now i'll run okay you can see that the request first and second why this request just why why this uh, log just appeared here because this page is keep sending look at here it keeps sending the request so i just stop it okay i back to here clear run server is running localhost 888 back to the application this is the first function this is the second function so what did happen here is that the first function executed then the request goes to the next because here we specify that okay after you run send it to the next and next in the stack is second function okay let's make it a bit fun I want to have some kind of output here you can see here we have a response so I just copy this response write sorry write head successful which is 200 I want to have context dash type value also is text slash plain plain okay that's our header now I need to create the body so uh, right oh my god I always have problem to time this word okay this is the first function and now I need to close it or end it oops okay now let's start again first we stop here because it's still sending because there is no response that's why it keeps sending there's no response from this error oops what's that what did happen here oh yeah I forgot to close it okay let's run again okay server is up and running let's send a new request cohost okay this is the first function and let's back here you can this is the first function and this is the second function first function second function okay so until now we were able to call two different functions first is returning something as a response second is just s printing something for us in the log which is fine for us for now because you can run and you can uh, write any code here so just to uh, remind you again is that this is the stack so it's run based on the order 
if you if you put this one first then the first function will be run and then the second but don't forget about the next okay what I told you earlier is that you can have different paths and you can run different function for different paths let's code for it okay let me see how we can change this code okay we start from here for example this function this use has a optional parameter which is path so let's do this I say that if the path is login run this function and if the path is user profile run this function for me I remove this next I copy this one to make a bit more sense this is the user profile okay and here this is the login page okay so this is the okay let let's this to be here okay if we run one more time go to login okay this is the login page see and we go to the user profile user profile user profile so it means that it was very easy right so let me repeat again you have two different function which is fine both have the same parameter request response and next okay until here is very easy what you need to do when you want to ask the app to run the function you can just pass the path to it so it means that when the request comes to this port this port uh, this function send the request to the app and then app look at the path if the path is login the first function will be executed if the path is user profile the request goes to the second function and the second function will be executed okay guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe uh, I'll try to come with uh, new videos in the following days and that's it bye bye